I'm giving away a free AAA animation every week until 2025, and this is week six. These animations are free as in freedom for commercial and non-commercial use, and all I ask in return is that you like this video, subscribe, and watch more of my videos if they interest you. This week I'm back with a really dynamic wall slide evolution. It's designed to match up with the mid-air jump animations from Epic's game animation sample, but should really also blend well with any other animation set you're using. I'm providing a full evolution from mid-air to a wall slide and then a dynamic landing, as well as a slower slide variation if you want the slide to be more controlled. Additionally, in this video, I'm going to show you how to separate and pose match this full evolution into three connected animations, a mid-air to slide, a slide loop, and a slide loop to landing. This shows you the process for turning longer freeform animations into game usable cut clips. But first, I want to share that I've been working hard behind the scenes to bring you another free asset to level up your Unreal Animating. Sometime in the next several weeks, I'll be releasing the first beta version of my 3 peat Animation Tools Unreal plugin, which provides curve editor filters and a revved up control UI based on Epic's MetaHuman Picker. Just like these animations, this plugin will be absolutely free and I'm really excited about it. As usual, I'm taking requests, so let me know in the comments any features you'd like to see in the picker or curve editor filters or anything else you'd like it to do or animations you'd like to see released as part of this series. Okay, now to razor blade up this slide animation to make it game ready. Let's get into it. First, we select the animation, we open that up, and then we edit it in the sequencer, bake it to control rig, what we do every time. Now we can close this. Now I don't have any platforms or walls or anything like that, but we don't need them for this. First, we'll find the beginning of the slide. Looks like it's right there. We'll hit M to mark it. Then we'll find the end of the slide. And we can, there's a couple different ways we can do that. If we just go take a look in the curves editor, you can kind of get a pretty good feel for where you see there's the, the start of the slide where I picked it. But you notice everything's pretty flat from here until about here. And then, yeah, you can see them start to break, break form. So that's the end of the slide. And so what we want to do is make these two poses match, which looks like they probably already pretty well do. Now we can, we're going to start with the loop itself. And so what we'll do is we can just go grab these. And I'm going to cut this into pieces. So I'll just show you how I do that. First, I've got my original sequence. I'll save that off. Control Shift S. Then I'm going to duplicate it a few times. And this will be midair to slide. This will be slide loop. And then this will be slide to landing. Save those off. Uh, we're going to do these two last. Everything is, we'll do the midair to slide and the slide to landing last. Because first we want to build the slide loop with the pose exactly how we like it. Creating the slide loop, we're just going to make a slide loop pose here, although I'll release a slightly more dynamic slide loop with this uh, animation set. But if we just duplicate and then I'll call this slide loop pose, this is the easiest thing you can do. So we go to our animation. We've already marked out where the slide loop begins and ends. Remember, control shift dot to go to the next mark. Go ahead and find him. And there's a couple things we want to do here just to make this super easy. The first thing we want to do is we want to chop this animation. So let's go, we'll bring it down so that the start of the animation is right there. And we really only need one frame. So I'm going to delete everything. So we'll select the rig and we'll delete everything in before and after this frame. The easiest way to do this I'm just going to delete all the easy to grab stuff. And then I will try this out and make it a little easier to select just. There we go. And so now we have one frame. Confirm that there's no jitter, nothing. And you can set this to be as long as you want. Um, but it turns out it's just a pose, so it doesn't really matter. So I just set it arbitrarily long. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Everything looks good. The only problem we have now is he is about five meters in the air. So let's go fix that. So we'll go select, we'll take our root control and our body offset control, select location Z on both. And you'll notice it's set to about 600, but we can just go grab the single key and press zero. And now we're right at the ground. Everything looks good. And the other thing I'd like to do is go look at location Y in both cases, because he has shifted. 
Yep. So he's just about two meters off where he should be, and you can tell that because the global control is over here. We'll do the same thing. Set them both to zero. Now we have a nice slide loop, albeit not a very interesting one because he's not moving. Uh, but that's everything we need to get the slide loop going. So let's save that and we'll bake it out. And so now that we have our slide loop, we'll just go copy the pose from the slide loop, which is super easy to do. You just go select all of the controls. We're going to do everything but the global root and body offset since we already know where those are. And so we just select thigh, hold shift, and you can just hit page down until you get to the bottom of the rig. There we go. And then now that we have everything selected, it's going to show up over here. There's a couple different ways we can select the entire pose. We can just go grab and control C. And now we have it selected. The other way is we could have just copied them from over here, but it's harder to select in this, in my opinion. So I just work inside the sequencer curves. All right. Now that we have that, we'll go back and we'll do midair to slide. Make sure that we hit the right pose. I mean, we know pretty much what pose we're in here, but, uh, and so we knew our slide loop started right around this mark right here. So let's go dig in. So that's our, that's our spot for the slide. So we'll go bring it in. And again, we will go select all of the controls that we care about. We can actually select the entire rig at this point and paste it in because it will only paste over the controls that we care about. So if I come over here and press control V, I've now pasted in all the ones we can look. And there's actually no issue there because we, this is where we copied that pose from. So this is just a kind of a confirmation that we, yep, we got it right. And now I'm going to clean up this uh, animation. Okay. So now, yep. So now we've got a good midair to slide loop. So we'll go ahead and bake that out. Control shift S to save everything. Right click on the main actor and bake animation sequence. The options, I leave everything as the default, hit export. All right, now we have our mid-air to slide. And we'll do the same thing for the slide to landing, except this time we're going to edit the first. So we go to B. We'll just confirm that this was our slide to landing. So we'll slide over. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. So now we have everything right here. So we just make sure that this pose is exactly right. So again, we go select everything in the rig except for the main body controls. There we go. Feels good. So we're going to go ahead and control V in here. Yep, everything looks clean. And because we it was we confirmed that Everything's working here well. We don't have to tune. So if you go to any of these and just take a look, you're going to have a nice smooth integration on this part because of how I designed the animation in the first place. So I built this animation to loop properly. And so everything is good. So now we have a nice clean animation and everything will line up. So let's go confirm everything lines up. First, we'll bake this one out. Same rules as before. Okay, so now that we have our, so here's our new guys. So these are the ones that we just made, midair to slide, slide to landing, and the slide loop. Um, and for consistency, I'll just go fix this. All right, so now let's go make a montage. So we can go ahead and select midair to slide, create, and a montage. And we'll call this an montage wall slide evolution and this is really we're just going to go confirm and test that everything is as expected with regards to root motion and everything is working how we would expect it to work so first we must fix these 
animation sequences so that they have root motion baked in. The easiest way to do that is just to select all three, right click, and go to Asset Actions, Edit Selection and Property Matrix. And that will allow us to make the changes across all of them how we like. So if we just go select all three, go to Root Motion, Enable, that'll turn it on, and we're done. Save it, and we're there. So now we'll go back to our anim montage. And so we have our wall slide. Now the other thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go. So we have the midair to slide. And you want to bring in the slide loop. And we'll want to bring in the slide to landing. And when we add all three, That's what we get. Now, one last note, you notice he's he's starting very high up in the air. If you don't want him to start high up in the air, you want everything to be based on zero level, we just go edit the animation again. So I'll just show you how to modify that as well. So I have my uh, ball slide midair to slide animation. I'll go into the sequencer, bake to control rig. You could just do this on the FK rig. You, you don't really need the the full control rig for this, but if that's what, since that's what we're doing, I'm going to just show you how to quickly fix this issue where we have a, a character that's just very high up in the air. So we're going to select the root control. So starting with the Z control up and down, we want that to start at zero and it's currently not. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. So just select the first key. Grab the value, control A, control C to copy it. And then we'll select the entire curve with control A inside the curve editor. And in the values here, delete this and then do minus equals and paste in the value. The entire and that will shift the entire root control animation down to start at zero zero. We're gonna do the same thing. We should have the exact same value here for the body offset control, but we're gonna do the same thing with it. So we select the body off offset control. Go to location Z, check that it's 889. Yep, same ridiculously long number. So we select everything. Minus equals. And now our entire animation is starting at zero. And we'll do the same thing for slide to landing. And one thing I forgot to do in the other animation that you should always do is we know we have an offset. It starts at a Y value of 141, where we know we want that to be 00, zero as well. So we don't have any offset at all. So we'll do the same thing. And there we go. And now do this and make, always remember to do it for both the root and the body offset. And that's it. You now have three cut clips that are ready to be integrated into a game. Thanks for watching and see you next time.